oh, I can actually, I can make this go away. Because we don't need it right now. There we go. All right. Uh, which way do we go here? I don't remember. This way. And the light is very dark. Which means the vote should be happening soon. But Equitia was still standing out here, and she has to oversee. What is this? Oh, those are the, the doors that lead up here that we discovered. We're gonna end up talking to Octavia up here, aren't we? Oh no, they're already clear from here. All right. All right. So there's three. There's three of the four plaques. So that's good. We still don't have any info on Malleus, which is a little frustrating. But the other thing is that we we made uh, the tavern keeper grumpy with us by going up to her bedroom. Even though we didn't take anything, we didn't do anything, we didn't take anything, we still made her mad at us. So she won't talk to us now for this run. So we are just waiting for this day to be over and reset. Um, so that we can get more information from her. In theory. There we go. Finally made use of that. I still don't know how to get, like, over there. See how this zip line comes back this direction? I don't know how to get up over there. There's got to be a way that we can get there, though. Can I... can I climb... this stuff? Maybe? That does not look particularly promising. Also don't know how to get back on over here. But there's a little space back there. So somewhere up over that direction. Galerius? Horatius? Looking a bit troubled there. Still no sign of Centella. And I haven't slept right in three weeks. Don't be too hard on yourself. From what I hear, nobody saw it coming. Anyway, I thought you Stoics weren't supposed to worry about things you can't control. Yeah. Ooh, Horatius and the guilt. Sounds like you're talking. 
torturing yourself. Leave that for the gods. Try to relax. Get some rest. Tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. Uh-huh. If only, right? Ah, there we go. I knew there had to be a way over here. Oh, that's where this is. Okay. Weird dude tied to a wheel thing going on. Why are those vines not... Have we not gone up there yet? Ooh! We can fall right back down. Oh no, we have. Wait, if there's no gold in this chest, why are the vines not golden? That makes no sense. Alright. This is our path back to the door. All right, that's the entrance for the... Oh, we can talk to Octavia. I bet. I said, please leave. You're trespassing. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. All right, Sentius is on his way back to the shrine. It's interesting that she goes back there. this way We were waiting for the end of the day. So what happened was we uh, we were waiting for the vote to take place so that the day would advance so that we could go talk to What's-Her-Face down in the tavern. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? Uh, I'm Cherney, and I need you to take care of this, some things urgently. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. Uh... Oh, good! The Rufius option updated. Rufius has been threatening Virgil, but if you give him some willow, uh, some of this willow bark, it will treat his rheumatism and he'll settle down. Poor Virgil. Poor Rufius, too, I guess. All right, got it. Yulia is dying, but Lucretia can't help her without some of this fulfillum. Take us some of it and go quickly. Yulia? Oh no. All right, I can do that. I need you to stop Fabia from entering the empty shrine and tell her the new arrival he'll find, uh, and tell the new arrival he'll find what he's looking for in there. All right, let me see. Stop <laughs> Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. That's it. Now go as fast as you can. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. All right. Uh, what do we want to do next here? We still need to find that other plaque. We need to figure out how to get um, Maliolus to drop out. 
of the election. We know what happened to Scintilla already. We know how to stop Opius from killing himself. So at this point, the only real NPC that we haven't spoken to yet uh, is the Tavern Keeper. I want to get the Citizen's Registry from Horatius. I know you need my help. All weapons are to be tossed into the chasm. Magistrate's orders. Great. Thank you. What is it, citizen? Um... I'm a legionary of the first Italica. But there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. Fair enough. Uh, I can't ask for the right. register, okay. Stop creepily whispering at me, I know! I know, right? Um, okay. Well, we have nothing... Do I still have the register? Because I actually made it to the thing. The myth of the golden rule, golden bow, bounty notice. Oh, we do have the citizen's register because I actually made it to the door with it. My reminder doesn't hurt. Yes. Uh, we still don't know what's going on with Claudia. Um, who is in the villa of Maleus. Maleolus. Maleolus. There we go. Jeez. His word- his name stopped being a word. Um, alright. We're gonna go back over here. Where is... What's her face? I still don't know how to get over here. There's a- there's a little empty door back here. <laughs> I mean, you still haven't I solved the issues, so... Listen, you're right, but also... Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, but it does not notice the crowds that come. I figured it out. I know where we Say are. Say it. Speak its name. The Underworld. Then it is true. I was right. You were. I thought... I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself it was true over and over again, until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I'd found comfort in reciting the metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. Apparently she doesn't have a turn animation. Place. I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? I, uh, just realized I have to be somewhere. <laughs> I understand. Such things are not for everyone. But I thank you nonetheless. And now we share a secret. It's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders. Thank you, friend. I think I should rest. All right, let's see if we can do a talk to this. I love your clothes. So exotic. Lovely lady here. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. It's not. Not interested, oh, well, sorry. So you prefer the company of men. Maybe you should go and make friends with Virgil instead. 
I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? This woman. This woman. What's your story? Oh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. Uh, what do you think of the golden rule? I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As the saying goes, to drink is human, so we drink. Hilarious. I am still getting strong Claudia Black vibes from this character, though. It's amazing. Heard any interesting gossip? Certainly. For ten denarii. Here's ten denarii. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair until one day she just snapped. This place has that effect on people. Now she just stands around, caked in filth, muttering nonsense to herself. It's a real shame. Now I have to do my own hair. Sure, I'll give her some coin. I hear that if Maliolus is elected, he's gonna throw a small festival to celebrate, with entertainment and everything. Can't wait to find out what it is. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you like. I'm looking for Kabash. Have you seen him? Not for a few weeks now. Last time I saw him, he was sitting at a table with Georgius, whispering about some job. I remember because they kept looking over their shoulders as if they didn't want anyone else to know. So, uh, naturally, I hovered. The one word I kept hearing was vanishing. And then, the next day, Kabash just disappeared. Coincidence? I think not. Hmm. Do you know a way out of here? You know, normally, I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. That's cute, but seriously, do you know a way out? Straight to business, huh? Well, I can work with that. As a matter of fact, I do know a way out. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii to you? Not interested, I know it's a scam. Tell me more about what I'd be buying. If you have a way out, why haven't you used it yourself? Isn't it kind of unethical to keep all these people trapped in here, knowing there's a way out? So we've actually learned already uh, what Aurelia has as her way out, because we've talked to other uh, NPCs um, and actually helped treat uh, what's going on. So I'm kind of curious if we can get her to tell us anything more about what we're buying. Tell me more about what I'd be buying. I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you, you'll never have to spend another hour in this city ever again. If you have a way out, why haven't you used it yourself? Simple. It's a one-way trip, and I'm not ready to go just yet. I like my life here. One day, maybe, but not now. She's smart. She is very wily. Um, not interested. I know it's a scam. Ha! <laughs> it's hardly my fault if people misunderstand the terms of a deal. I mean, it does say, let the buyer beware, right outside my tavern. Interesting. I was All really right. hoping that See she ya. was going to give us the, uh, the goods for Maliolus. I... I don't know how to get dirt on Maliolus. Because we still haven't figured out the way to get him to drop out from the... 
the race. So, I kind of don't know what to do about that. Anybody else have some ideas? Yeah, the Quintus line doesn't work. We have to be able to prove it to him that we know that he's he's the guy. Oh, there's a goat over here too. I can talk to this goose. <coughs> Um, but we discover from the assassin, does anybody remember the assassin, um, that comes in from the bathhouse? Um, Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. How is it possible? You've just arrived here, and you already know everyone, and exactly what's about to happen to them. You'd never believe me if I told you. Oh, come on. I just did as you asked. The least you can do is level with me. I'll keep it between us. I promise. Last time we said you're better off not knowing. I'm tempted to say I'm reliving the same day over and over again. Um, but... When we go to him with that information, we have to be able to prove it in some way. We need something that supports it. So... Uh, you're toying with me, right? Wait. You're not kidding, are you? That's the only way you could have known. You're a bit like... Oh, what was his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Like Sisyphus? How so? Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom, forcing him to start over and over and over again for all eternity. Just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp at fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Pelides had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. But, on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. That's fantastic. So we've seen a depiction of Sisyphus. We've seen a picture, uh, a depiction of, uh... Axion, and we've seen a picture of uh, the woman collecting water at the, the fountain. We've seen those three people depicted in the game. Go on. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. So, I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you, and you just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. You're a good man, Galerius. Oh, that's kind of you to say. Now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk anyway, right? <laughs> oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. May fortune smile on you, friend. All right. So, at this point... I have no idea how to get dirt on Maliolus to actually get Galerius to run for office. I have no idea how to make that happen. Um, we have not been up to the bluff this game. I like him too. And like, the only, the only big thing that he did um, was that he was protecting his sisters. He was protecting his sisters when barbarians tried to attack them. 
and steal steal his stuff. Take some more of this money. So, as far as I can tell, he's a pretty decent guy. Which I appreciate. But yeah, here's the... The woman who was forced to, to collect water. Hello, ma'am. Um, and she's even holding a sieve. I imagine his wife wouldn't help. Um, the last time we tried to talk to her without having some kind of prompt, um, she just kicked us out, basically. So, we don't have much that we can do. That's quite an impressive bow you have there. Just like Diana's. Yes, it is. So, at this point, I think this is a decent place to stop for today. I'm going to put a new save into the game here. And we will 